Hello, beautiful seekers. Welcome back to part two of the self love challenge. My name is Alyssa Helfrey. I am Prismatic Heart Intuition, and I'm an intuitive life coach and spiritual teacher and certified intuitive reader. And I'm really glad you could join me for this. Ah, we are on week two. So last week we talked about the way we talk to ourselves. And I gave you a challenge, and it was a very difficult challenge. And that was to write down and keep track of how you speak to yourself. How'd that go, everybody? Not easy to see, is it? It's hard to really take a look at what we say to ourselves because it it's painful that we treat ourselves with such disrespect, more disrespect than we would treat anybody else in this world. So I can see, you know, it can be very triggering. It can be very upsetting. But at the same time, this is a chance to get free. Like I say, this is a fact-finding mission. When we go into this, I want you to try and take the position of the eagle, you know, above the situations or the, the unbiased reporter who is reporting on something, leaving out the emotions and just being able to witness what is happening. So your challenge was to keep a tally and write down what you say to yourself and, you know, like I said, it's difficult. It took me a really long time to learn how to do this. Like, I'd be like, say something horrible to myself. I'd say, oh, shit. And then I'd be like, oh, damn. I just yelled at myself for yelling at myself. I mean, what good does that do? <laughs> right? What good does it do? It doesn't do anybody any good, right? So it's it's a difficult but very fruitful um challenge that I had given you last week. So this week we're going to do something a little different. I want you to take a look at what it is that you've been saying to yourself and really see if there's a pattern. See if there is a something that you notice that a particular thing that triggers it, a particular person that triggers it, things like that. We want to kind of play detective now, right? We've written down how we speak to ourselves and now we want to get to the bottom of why we speak to ourselves that way. And the first clue is patterning. And, and when I say patterning, I mean there's usually a, even though the words may seem different, there's certain situations that trigger you more than others, certain people that tr you, trigger you more than others, things like that. So really being able to pay attention to where and what was said is going to be important. One of the things also to look for, and I say this uh, and I, with, with a prerequisite of, Please go into this with love. And, and when I say this, I don't mean to go people bashing. What I'm talking about is whose voice is in your head? Whose voice is behind that thought? The thought that mean and, and harsh thoughts that, that you've been writing down. Who's behind that? Nine times out of ten, it truly isn't your voice. It's somebody's voice who's been critical of you during your lifetime that has made their way into a little home inside your head and has decided to put up a tent and stay there. So we're not doing this to blame. We're not doing this to shame. We're not doing this, of course, that does come up. You know, and that's that's one thing is, is, is learning how to breathe through this and, and, and really, if something triggers you, stop. Stop, put it away for a minute. You know, this is, this is tough stuff. Finding love and self-compassion for yourself takes time and it's not easy, it's difficult but you are so worth it. I can promise you that when you get to the other side of this, you are so worth it. So taking the time to really look into the patterning of the thoughts in your mind. So part one was writing down how we talk to ourselves. Part two is really taking a look at the words that we use and finding where they come from. Nine times out of 10, it was somebody in our life who was critical of us and they have created a little earworm into our minds. And so they've posted in our head and are continually playing that tune over and over and over again in our head. And the thing is, they're probably long gone. They're not in your life anymore. You know, I'm, we have family and things like that, but that's one thing. But you know, the they're not thinking about this. There's a, there's a great saying that, that says, you know, that's like um, 
holding a resentment, being angry at somebody, things like that. And, and, and it's the same with playing that tape over and over and over again in your head. It's like taking poison and expecting the other person to die. If you keep feeding yourself this behavior, these thoughts, it's just poisoning you and that doesn't do anybody any good because we need your beautiful soul here on this planet exactly as you were meant to be everybody here has a reason and has abilities to become wonderful people wonderful people we just have to remove the things that don't serve us anymore like somebody else's voice in our head so your next part of this challenge is putting together a pattern it's time to play detective a little bit longer get in there find out who is in your head and write it down and i think that the next time around we'll definitely see that there's a pattern involved and we'll work on removing that belief and removing that other person's thoughts from our heads so again like i say please go into this with compassion for yourself for the other person and for the future you because you are doing so many wonderful things by doing this so just take the time fact finding mission go through those thoughts and figure out where they're coming from it's amazing when we see that you know we actually aren't the ones who are torturing ourselves we're just playing these tapes over and over again and it's a wonderful thing but do it with love do it with compassion and if if it gets to be too much stop you can always come back you can always come back but love yourself enough to take the time to really delve into where these thoughts are coming from you are so worth it and trust me if i can get on the other side of my thoughts you can get on the other side as well you can find the love and compassion for yourself and it changes your entire world promise you that thank you so much for watching again my name is Alyssa Helfrey if you're interested in unpacking this uh, with me I do do this work as well my information is in the about section of this YouTube you, or AlyssaHelfrey.com thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next section enjoy and again love yourselves you are worth the work thank you take care of each other namaste